In this video, I'm going to cover a new feature I've added to Power SDR KE9NS version 2.8.0.262. And that's dealing with uh, DX spotting. You got your spotting screen here, you put your latitude longitude, you put your call sign down here, you right click, you put your LOTW password in there, and right click again to close it. And now when you launch LOTW, and it's got help right here. Uh, you launch it, you'll get the color codes on ones you need. You hold your mouse over, it'll tell you, uh, I've got this confirmed on some other band, but not this band. Uh, it tells you all this stuff. Well, now, up in the DX settings, you can uh, put the you can put that color up on, uh, up on the pan adapter or a dark background. So now if I go to this station, I'll see the colors. So it kind of helps you know real, at a glance quickly, you know, which ones you need. And this black is because I turned on LOTW um, a little after a couple came in. So these here just re default to the uh, black background. So the one thing you can do now, though, uh, besides the color, is you put your mouse over this and you hit the control key and it moves you to him. And then it will parse the information here to figure out what frequency, what band, if there's a split, what mode. So if it's CW, it'll change modes for you. It'll set everything up. You can also hit a control key for these stations down here. Um, you hold your mouse over here, hit the control key, that'll take you to that station. And you could select if you want the red dots to have the call signs. In this case, I've got it set up to map uh, calls, not just country names, but calls, but just for my band. So if you see a red dot and no call next to it, that means they're not on, they're on another band. But this there's a 10 meter contest apparently, so it's uh, you know they're all on 10 meters right now. So the nice thing is though, if when you if you go to like CW frequency and it gets crowded, the idea is now I mean you can zoom out and recenter, but uh, by seeing these calls, and if one pops up that you need, you just hold your mouse over, hit control, and it moves that station right on there. If I need him, I just hit it, and it goes right there, and it sets everything up for you, um, so you don't need to you know worry about it. If you see something pop up on the map, just hold your mouse over, hit the control, and then it brings you to that person. And then you see another station you want, just hit that and moves you over there. So uh, there's a lot of options with the uh, with the spotter screen I'm spotting all modes right now I'm spotting North American spotters only a lot of different flexibility in there and then the spots stay live for 12 minutes and that's it